Hello. Um, just a few more thoughts about this is video two. It's um, now seven o'clock on Monday 23rd. I am going to give you some details of the things that I'm doing and the things I've already done and uh, leave it at that. So there won't be any actual doing at this stage. This is this is the plans that I've got in place um, and my um, why I'm going to do them. So a follow on from the introduction about this is my leukemia journey and this is about me um, using the time productively to um, learn stuff and stay positive and come out of it productive. I'd like to say, because I'm, this is all new to me, I, um, I, I've not recorded any videos. I don't like selfies. I leave that to my wife. Um, but see, silly things like I, how I got up and, and I was going to start recording and I hadn't even looked in the mirror to see what I looked like. Uh, I'm glad that I did before I started recording because this hair isn't great with no with no preparation so yeah just look in the mirror and kind of splash my face because i had very blurry eyes as well so that was that was something else i had to do which i, I didn't wouldn't have thought of instantly so anyway first things first um i am not great at selling stuff but i'm i uh, i'm trying to declutter so i had a uh, bugatti chiron car that i built as one of my projects to keep me busy while I've been doing, um, while I've been housebound, and it's been very useful. But all these things they take up space, so rather than just thinking about it, I actually put it on Facebook, and it's free to sell on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, to be honest, I've no commercial links with any of these sites I talk about. Any projects I'm doing are purely for my benefit. Um, and so let's just, yeah, I'm not promoting any particular websites or whatever. So uh, I put it up and it went really easily. It was a lot easier than I expected. So uh, that's taken me into looking at selling stuff online and decluttering the garage to make space for um, keeping the place tidy and making an environment that's conducive to my projects first things are i'm using those selling skills to look at all my old bikes and preparing them for put for purchase on um again i'm probably they're gonna i'll put them try i'll try facebook marketplace and see if i get any interest and and then i am um, the next project after that is going to clear space for a bike build which is very exciting and that will help me um, with my cycling. So I'm getting back into cycling cautiously. And I believe that my fitness post this, as I pre this journey, I was marathon fit and I love cycling. Um, and that has stood me in really good stead. Uh, I'm prepared for my fitness return to take as long as it needs to. But the bike build, I think, will help me get back into cycling. And so that's that's the reason and the motivation behind that. I've got a small allowance through an account through work, which will get me started on buying bike frame. Um, so that's great, but I don't want to start that before I've made a good environment for that project. So the other thing is cycling is better for me than running, just lower impact. And so I will be doing some running because it's, I enjoy it, but it takes up a lot less of my time because I can only run a mile and, and then that's enough. Whereas with, with the bike obsession, it will take up a bit more of my time and uh, the, the, the kind of engagement and that will be very useful. So my learning things are going to be, because I'm just going to buy a frame. Um, I've never built a bike from scratch before. Um, so that will help me 
learn new skills. Primarily, I know nothing about hydraulics and brakes. Uh, so that's the main new skill that I've been learning. And I will look into electronic shifting and stuff like that if budgets permit. But it's all good fun and I think it will be a positive journey. The main thing is I'm going to do it in small steps. I'm not going to... I'm not going to rush into this. So it's relaxed, it's drawn out, and um, I don't put myself under any pressure. So there we are. Um, I will leave it there. And have a good day.